Philippians chapter 2 and verse 25. I suppose it necessary to send to you Aphroditus, my brother in the Lord, and companion in labor, and fellow soldier. Fellow soldier, and it also shows up in Philemon. Don't ask me what chapter. Verse 2. Only two places in the Bible this word. And to our beloved Aphra and Archippus, our fellow soldier. That's the two places where that word fellow soldier. Now, the typical Baptist, he knows the word fellowship. But does he know the word fellow soldier? Because we are in a battle. Now, the Jehovah Witnesses say, oh, we, we don't go to battle. We don't do the military because the Bible says thou shalt not kill. And yet Paul, twice writing to the church, he mentions two fellow soldiers. And the inspiration of the Holy Spirit to Paul, he writes to one of the churches about the armor of a soldier called a Christian. And we have a head protection, we have a shield, we have a sword, we have knee pads, we have shoes. All for the battle and the work of the gospel, the Bible, the word of God, faith in Jesus Christ. That Paul said in the end, I have fought the good fight, I have kept the faith. And I, I don't know much about this to make a statement, but I would think that the Laodicean church age is really not combat ready. Not really into the fight. Uh, they're giving in to the world. And the fact is that a Christian is not a couch potato. He is a warrior in the name of Jesus Christ of the banner of the Holy Word of God, the King James Bible. And that we have an enemy out there. And yes, the enemy is the devil. Our adversary, the devil. And he wants to destroy any soldier that's going to stand. A disciple is a man that, that disciplines his life for the name of Jesus Christ and for the word of God. He's beyond saved. He's fighting. And a fellow soldier is not only a soldier and warrior of Jesus Christ, but he's also a husbandman. And he's out there planting seed and watering seed. And the Bible says in Mark chapter 4, I believe it is, that with the sower went out to sow seed, and the devil is the very first enemy, the birds. And we do have an enemy called the devil. We also have an enemy called the world, which works closely with the devil, but they also have their own motives. The devil does not want God to get the worship. He wants to worship himself. The world wants you to pay attention to them. Headlines and posters and trading cards and pictures and autographs and look at me and how much we can take from you. It's amazing that the government, oh, we care for the people, and they get more money than what the people get, and then they tax the people more and more. And the world is the enemy, the devil is the enemy, and other Christians are the enemy of a fellow soldier. You make me look bad what you do. You, 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 you ruined the fun for me. I want to do things and, and you come up and preach and teach against the things I want to do. I like it and you, you throw the Bible down and, and show me where I shouldn't like it. And yes, to the fellow soldier, there are enemies you would think of fellow Christians. 
And I have had churches, I have had pastors, I have had Sunday school teachers, and I have had members of churches battle me for my stand and my convictions of Jesus Christ and for the word of God. Don't touch my Christmas. It's wrong. Hey, you know, you got your car loaded with bumper stickers. And I had a pastor take the keys of my car and move my car because we were going to have visitors that day and they didn't want the visitors to see our car. My car is covered with scripture. And then we have another battle. As fellow soldiers, we have a battle of ourselves. We have a battle of the flesh. And the spirit that Paul writes. And this battle is called sin. And some of the battles are their conflicts. Their little sins. And you, you get victory over those little sins. I've got victory over alcohol. Uh, 1990s. That when I was married in 1991 to Lisa. We had a dry wedding. Amen. Glory to God. I thank the Lord God, Jesus Christ, that he took me away from Bar Bacardi. Never mind beer. Jesus Christ gave me the victory over Bacardi. I brought my own wherever I went. I've got the victory over that battle. That battle's gone. That the fact is, if if the you know the devil can't, well, he's tempted, but has no thing. If I were to smell beer, to me, that smells like piss. And I can work, use the word piss because that's in the Bible. Thank God that, that, that victory over that sin of alcohol. Thank God. Glory to God. And then we battle with the flesh. And there are other sins. I got later on in the late 1990s, I got the victory over tobacco. I was a cigarette smoker, I was a, a pipe smoker, and I was a cigar smoker. And I got the victory over that battle. And that battle almost cost my life. You say the world, the devil, other Christians, and in your own sins. There are sins in my life today. Today. They're major sins. I get the victory over them. And then I don't get the victory over them. I outright lose the battle to the flesh and commit that sin willingly and unwillingly. We're in a battle. We're in a fight. Fellow soldier. We are up against the devil who does not want us to praise and honor and give glory to God the Father and God the Son in the word of God. We are in a battle against the world where the world wants the worship of God, the honor over Jesus, and the thrills of other publications than the word of God. And we are in a battle up against other Christians. We make them look bad. We insult them with the word of God. We offend them with the teachings of the Bible. You offend me. Uh, Pastor, you know that family and what they teach, and uh, you can't even park next to their car. <laughs> I want to hold on to the world. I want to grab to the breast of Satan, and I want to romance with Satan, and I want to adulterize my life with Satan. But that Christian over there, he wants to love and serve Jesus Christ to the fullest. And then we have another battle as Christians, fellow soldiers. Our flesh says, I want to do that. Lust of the flesh, the pride of life, lust of the eyes. Our flesh says, I want it, I want it, I want it. No, 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 I want it, no. I want it, uh, no. I ain't like that, no. Put your hands out, no. Buy me, no. Time to study the Bible. No, I'd rather do something else. We are fellow soldiers and that, that we are given armor of soldiers. 
We're not couch potatoes. We carry the banner of the cross, our own cross. We are fellow soldiers for Jesus Christ. And too many Christians are not. They're home at the PX. They're not even never been in the battlefield. 